Hello and welcome back. In this video, which will be very short, I want to consider how we can turn this quantity t we have just studied into a confidence interval for beta i. So let's see what we need to do. So we know t, which is beta hat i minus beta i divided by square root of cii sigma hat squared. That's t distributed with n minus p minus 1 degrees of freedom. And I even sketched this picture already. The density of the t distribution looks a bit like that. And it's symmetric. So if I draw some line here, then the probability being out here and the probability being out here, represented by the areas under the density, they are the same. So if I have plus t here, minus t here, then this and that probability will be the same. And for a confidence interval, we do that so that each of these has probability alpha over 2, then the probability that t is in here is alpha. We can make that happen by just two, choosing t just the right value. And that is, well, like a in confidence interval, that's an interval t will be in with high probability. But now we can just rewrite that and turn that into an interval with which high probability will cover beta. So before we do that, let us just see what we need to do. So this value t needs to be a quantile of the t distribution. And quantiles measure how much mass is to the left. So the alpha quantile is the point where mass alpha is to the left. And now here, if we want alpha over 2 to the right, then we need 1 minus alpha over 2 to the left. And I write t n minus p minus 1 as an index, and then 1 minus alpha over 2, it's shorthand for that quantile. So that's the right point. Good, and then it's just rewriting, then we do t is less than this critical value, if and only if beta hat i minus beta i divided by square root <coughs> is less than t, if and only if beta hat i minus <coughs> beta i is less than t times the square root. And we need to now be a bit careful, we want beta on the left hand side. So beta must be in the interval beta hat i minus t times square root up to beta hat i plus t times square root. That's all the places where beta i could have been so that the distance between beta hat and beta i is less than t times the square root. That's the confidence interval. 